Hello, and uh, today I'll show you my camp light. Uh, when I'm going camping, I built my own uh, camp light. Um, I'll leave all the details of the parts I used in the description below. First of all, I'm using uh, those type of LEDs. They are IP65 or 66, depending where you buy them. They're, covering, they're covered with uh, some type of glue. Uh, they have two wires in and out. You can see the plus and the minus and there is also a description in and out. Because I like things to be modular I have also those type of uh, power cables and uh, what I did is that is I put very hot glue all the way in uh, but I made sure that it doesn't uh, stick in, into the pins so it doesn't clog it and the reason I did this is because each light has this type of uh, connector and uh, when you hang it there is quite a lot of stress on the cables uh, the hot glue helps to support the stress on the pin so they don't uh, pull out and I'll show you also how I'm soldering them and how I'm doing it modular and all the power supply and everything now when you decide on soldering the connectors to the LED you have to think it uh, through from start to end because you cannot just go and solder um, each connector to whatever side you're doing uh, because there is an in and an out and uh, if you mix the male and the female on different type of LEDs at the end you'll have some of them going into the in and some of them going into the out uh, and your battery connector won't be the right one so think of uh, what you want to be as a in connector and what you want to be what what you want to have as an out connector so in my case I've decided that this type of connector the female one will be the in connector and the male will be the out connector there is another trick that I'm doing I'm adding another heat shrink to all four wires. I'll show you at the end why I'm, why I'm doing it, but it's quite important. The way I know which one is which is because I'm pulling the female one to the outside and it's shorter, then I know it's this one. Now, just checking the soldering, just to make sure that everything is fine. I'll put the heat shrink. Again, white is the minus, gray is the plus. Now, here is the reason for the big heat shrink. If I didn't have this uh, heat shrink, then when I would pull the cables apart, all the strain would be on the cables, the small cables here of the lead. Uh, putting this heat shrink, uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit shorter uh, to save some wire uh, distance, the the strain of the light falls on the heat shrink and the power cables and not on the LED itself. Uh, you can do it also with a zip tie or you can do it with other methods but as long as it's above the soldering joint um, that will be fine. So either way you'll find um, you can just put it like that so all the strain will be on the cables, the power cables, and not on the LEDs or the uh, or soldering or whatever. So I prepared quite a lot of them, as you can see, and uh, because it's modular, 
I can just hook each one to the next one without any problems. So we have the in going to the out, the out going to the in and all the way. So those are the LEDs. Now how do I light them and how I control them? Okay, so this is the color dimmer. Uh, well, it doesn't control color, it's only on and off, and it also controls the intensity of the light. There is uh, input and output. Those type are not so great. Uh, I had two of them and one already burnt. Uh, I had to replace the MOSFETs inside and also it didn't work uh, for a long time until it burnt again. But I keep using them. There are different types and I'll leave also a link in the description below. And again, the out goes into the in. Very simple. Now to light the LEDs, I have uh, two different ways to do this. Uh, first of all, I have another uh, connector that I can connect directly to the LEDs. Again, because I'm keeping the orientation of what's out and what's in, I can have everything modular. This type of connector is a um, car uh, connector, a uh, car plug uh, with an on-off switch. I also added a 9 volt battery uh, that uh, you can just hook it up if you're far away or something runs out. And it also connects to the on-off switch. Um, for power supply, I have different ways to do this. So one option is to use a 12 volt uh, car ignition. Um, another solution is to use this. This is a LiPo battery. This is 5,000 milliamps at 12 volts. Uh, it's quite a beast. It's about uh, 60 watts. Today I'm getting out of it uh, about 55 to between 50 to 55 watts. I have it for quite some time. Uh, I charge it specially with a special charger. Then um, I have different ways to do this. In order to protect the battery, for example, I have this. I made this. This is a. I made this. This is a lipo battery protection. Um, the way it works is that from the battery output I connect it to the high voltage, to the 12 volts. Then there is another connector that measures each battery output so nothing happens to the battery. And then I have the output. The output I can connect to uh, directly to the LEDs. Or I have like a small uh, 12 volt battery output. So this is the 12 volt battery output. Again I'm keeping always the different types of connectors in the same orientation so everything will be modular and everything will stick to each other. Um, it starts from the battery. All those type of batteries have the, f the female type connector and then so this is the output, this is the input this is the output and it goes on. It's quite easy to uh, know the orientation when you're building something and you want to make it more and more modular. So either connect it this way and then to the 12 volt battery uh, with the protection or without the protection um, it doesn't matter. So for this case I'll connect immediately the battery, it's easy. And then you have the remote turn it on, turn it off, and change the intensity of the light. Now it's quite great using this because uh, when you're camping sometimes you, you want to have a lot of light, sometimes you want to have a little light, 
and then um, when you go to sleep uh, you don't have to shut anything off you just go to your tent you click and it turns off if you hear something you just click and turn it on just to make sure there is no one there uh, so it's quite easy and it's fun using this the 12 volt this connects 9 volt battery you just connect it to the light and then on off on off very easy and if you don't want to use the 9 volt let's say you have your car connector you just also plug it in on off on off if you want to see how it's built this type of connector again it's quite easy so the way it works is that the two cables go in and there is a tie here uh, again the tie is to uh, make sure that there is no strain on the soldering joints um, the minus both of the minuses are connected in parallel to the side and both of the plus are connected to one side of the switch the other side of the switch goes out to the cable so when you turn on and off you in fact turn on and off both of the pluses uh, of the 12 volt and of the 9 volt battery okay put it all back what do you think Make sure that it's all working. And that's it. This is your campsite.